so, Claude and my father have made peace. That is to be expected. They both prioritize their own interests above all else. So long as those interests are in alignment, they will continue to cooperate. And based on that reasoning, one might infer that the Alliance should be also willing to work with the Kingdom's military. I highly doubt Claude would refuse to assist us if we were to ask. I gotta say, it's tough to keep the fighting spirit alive when you recognize your enemies on the battlefield. So you can't avoid it, huh? How did everything get so messed up? Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. I gotta say, it's tough to keep the fighting spirit alive when you recognize your enemies on the battlefield. Hey, come on. Even I know we can't do that. Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. Thanks to our victory, I've been able to study the Great Bridge of Murden at my leisure. And you know what? It's an astounding structure. So much history there. Imagine how much time and effort it must have taken to build something that big. Over water, no less. I hope that someday, it will be opened up to the people of Fodlan. A historical site, rather than a military checkpoint. I'm glad you're the one giving orders on the battlefield, Professor. I don't think we should trust Dimitri with that task. Although it's thanks to his obsession that we're wasting no time, taking the shortest route to defeating the Empire. I just can't see a bright future for this army, fighting as we are under the banner of a prince possessed. Even if we do succeed in defeating the Empire, I wonder what will become of Fodlin. I apologize. Whenever I'm with you, I speak more openly than I should. Please keep this between us. Well, the situation in the Alliance has changed so much, but I haven't heard a word from my adopted father. Do you think he's forgotten about me? If that's the case, I hope he gets even busier. I'd actually be happier if he really did forget about me. Everything would be so much easier. Well, the situation in the Alliance has changed so much, but I haven't heard a word from my adopted father. Do you think he's forgotten about me? I'm not overly concerned about him. I'd actually be happier if he really did forget about me. Everything would be so much easier. I heard the next battle might take us to Grander Field. Is that right? Reminds me of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But of course that was a very different time. When it was over, all three class heads complimented each other on their bravery. And then we had a party. But we can never go back to that, can we? I heard Edelgard is going to be leading her forces personally in the next battle. Seems pretty reckless to charge right into this one. I'm not sure I like our chances. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know why you're so confident, but it does somehow make me feel better. Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. I heard Edelgard is going to be leading her forces personally in the next battle. Seems pretty reckless to charge right into this one. I'm not sure I like our chances. What do you think? Hey, how come you only ever flatter me in times like these? What am I supposed to make of that? Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. <laughs>